शेखर कैंडली इंट्रोड्यूस क्रांति क्रांति स्टार्ट चेस इसे ओके सर या इंट्रोड्यूस ओके ओके गुड मॉर्निंग एवरीबॉडी डॉक्टर क्रांति कुमार इज आवर फर्स्ट ईयर मेंस सेकंड ईयर एमबी स्टूडेंट ही इज गोइंग टू प्रेजेंट द टॉपिक लोकल स्टिक्स बेसिक्स ऑफ लोकल स्टिक्स एंड देयर एक्शन मेथड्स ऑफ एक्शन एंड Types of local statistics and their uses and applications. Dr. Pranav Kumar, please start. Yes, sir. Good morning, sir and madam. Uh, today, my topic of discussion is local statistics. My moderator is Dr. Durga Shekhar, sir. Uh, what are local statistics? Local statistics are drugs which, upon topical application or local injection. cause reversible loss of sensory perception especially of pain in a restricted area of the body and it blocks peripheral nerves in a localized area what are the ideal characteristics or desirable characteristics of a local anesthetic it should have rapid onset of action there should be brief reversible block of nerve conduction and there should be low degree of systemic toxicity with maximum dose and it should be soluble in water and stable in solution Uh, it should be effective on all parts of the nervous system and all types of nerve fibers and muscle fibers coming to classification of the local anesthetics it is divided into injectable and surface anesthetics in injectable anesthetics uh, depending upon the duration of action and its potency uh, it is divided as low potency short duration local anesthetics examples are procaine and chlorprocaine and intermediate potency and duration drugs are lidocaine or lignocaine and prilocaine uh, high potency long duration local anesthetics are tetracaine bupropen or sansorocaine propofen and dibucaine coming to surface anesthetics it is divisible uh, divided as soluble and insoluble uh, local anesthetics coming to soluble anesthetics examples are cocaine lidocaine tetracaine and benoxinate insoluble local anesthetics are benzocaine oxytocin and betalamine or benzoate uh chemical structure of uh, local anesthetics they have amphiphilic property that means they have both hydrophilic group and lipophilic group uh, hydrophilic group is tertiary amine group and lipophilic group which is lipid soluble is it is due to aromatic benzene ring present in its structure and uh, its classification is based on the intermediate chain which is either the ester Uh, linkage or the amide linkage this intermediate chain uh, 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 based on it is divided as ester or amide local anesthetics coming to mechanism of action of local anesthetics uh, all local anesthetics are membrane stabilizing drugs that means uh, it blocks the sodium channels and ultimately stops the nerve conduction and action potential is not generated at that particular peripheral nerve uh, Uh, this b is the unionized form of the local anesthetic and bh plus is the ionized form of the local anesthetic at physiological ph extra cellularly uh, it is around 7.4 uh, at this ph usually local anesthetics are in the ionized form but only the unionized form only crosses the nerve sheath and which acts intracellularly uh, intracellularly only this ionized form again acts on the uh, sodium channel uh, basically sodium channels are in three stages they are resting stage activated stage and inactivation stage uh, when there is act, uh, act, nerve stimulus uh, sodium ions gets transferred from the extracellularly to intracellularly in resting state the activation gate is closed and inactivation gate is open when there is nerve stimulus there is opening of the uh, extracellular gate and through which sodium ion channels come intracellularly this unionized form of the local anesthetic crosses the nerve sheath and in equilibrium it again reverts back to ionized form 
which acts acts intracellularly at the inactivated gate thereby blocking the sodium channel current and uh, one terminology is pk what is pk of a local nst uh, the ph at which uh, the element is in 50% ionized form is pk this pk determines the uh, uh, lipid solubility of the particular local nst as i told it penetrates the membrane in non ionized form and in cytoplasm in intracellularly again converted to cationic form that is bh plus and it predominantly block the sodium channel in cationic form slows its reversion to the resting state and refractory period is increased uh, refractory period is from the inactivated stage it cannot be activated directly to the activated state it should revert back again to the resting state there only on nerve stimulus it, should, it gets activated to the activated state irreversibly decrease the rate of depolarization and repolarization of the excitable membranes as i told based on the intermediate chain local anesthetics are of two types ester linked local anesthetics and amide linked local anesthetics uh, we can easily identify ester linked local anesthetics by its name there is only single i in this group examples are cocaine procaine chlorprocaine tetracaine and benzocaine amide linked local anesthetics we identify in its name two i will be present examples are lidocaine bupivacaine dibucaine prilocaine and tropivacaine uh, coming to amide local anesthetics uh, they produce more intense and longer lasting analgesia anesthesia compared to the ester group local anesthetics uh, they are bound to plasma proteins like alpha 1 as a glycoprotein in plasma they are it is metabolized by liver by cytochrome p450 enzyme and unlike ester uh, local anesthetic it is not hydrolyzed by plasma esterases and it rarely causes hypersensitivity which is common in ester group local anesthetics due to its metabolite pava paramana benzoic acid Uh, coming to ester local anesthetics, they have shorter duration of action and pro produce less intense analgesia compared to amide group local anesthetics. As I told, these are metabolized by pseudo colon esters uh, or plasma colon esters enzyme. There is an exception in this group that is cocaine, which is metabolized by liver as amide local anesthetics, uh, and they possess higher risk of hypersensitivity re reactions uh, seen with. Pabar derivative, which is para amino benzoic acid, and unlike uh, amide local anesthetic, it is not bound to plasma proteins. That's why they are having a uh, short duration of action. Uh, coming to effect of nerve stimulus and calcium, the degree of blockage is frequency dependent. As I told, the uh, local anesthetics have most affinity to the sodium channel in its activated state. And greater blockage occurs at higher frequency of stimulation. Exposure to higher concentration of calcium reduces inactivation of sodium channels and lessens the degree of block. Effects of PK, which is dissociation con constant or ionization constant of a particular local anesthesia, uh, at physiological pH, local anesthesia molecule is partly ionized. As I told, BH plus form it is in its extracellular form. the equilibrium between the unionized form base form and the ionized cationic form depends on the pk of a local anesthetic and uh, uh, we see we add uh, sodium bisulfate to a local anesthetic why because extracellularly ph is 7.4 uh, for a, but uh, local anesthetics are weak bases for that extracellular ph is slightly acidic for that reason we add sodium bisulfate to a local anesthetic so that it's it uh, comes nearly to its uh, pk and more un unionized form will be there and there will be faster onset of action as it penetrates nerve sheath examples with the local anesthetics with low, uh, lower pk are lidocaine mepivacaine and these are faster acting as physiological P e these pks are uh, near to the physiological ph 7.4 uh, in its undissociated form at uh, ph 7.4 Local anesthetics with higher pK are procaine, tetracaine, bupivacaine. These are slow acting, as only fifteen percent or less 
in ionized is ionized unionized at pH 7.4. Uh, what are the local actions of local anesthetics? Uh, these these have effects on nerves acting via voltage-gated sodium channels, sensory nerve endings, nerve trunks, neuromuscular junctions, ganglia, and receptors. While uh, when injected near mixed nerves, that's having both motor and sensory nerves, uh, there is anesthesia of skin and para paralysis of the particular muscles. Sensory and motor fibers are equally sensitive depending on diameter and types of fibers. Uh, uh, based on Erlanger Gasser classification, there are uh, divided as three fibers A, B, and C. In uh, A fibers, have uh, redivided as A alpha, beta, gamma, and delta fibers. These A fibers are large fibers and these are myelinated. Uh, B fibers are uh, partially myelinated, whereas C fibers are non-myelinated. Uh, functions lost with local anesthetics are, these are all the functions and I will describe later what, what will be, first will be uh, lost. Pain perception, temperature, touch sensation, proper perception, skeletal muscle tone. The order of blockade of these fibers is type B fibers initially, which uh, whose function is preganglionic autonomic uh, fi fibers and C fibers, which carry the fast pain and temperature and postganglionic autonomic fibers. And A delta. A delta carries slow pain and temperature. A beta, we see uh, touch and pressure. A alpha, we have uh, motor and proprioception uh, function. A alpha, is the motor fiber. Order of blockade while given local anesthetic is initially autonomic. Autonomic acetone preganglionic sympathy is carried by the B fiber, later sensory, and later motor by A alpha fiber. Among sensory blockade, initially temperature in that to cold before heat, followed by pain, followed by touch and deep pressure. Uh, on tongue, initially bitter taste is lost, later sweet, sore, and salt. Uh, coming to the important topic, local anesthesia, systemic toxicity. Last, uh, why it occurs? When this accidental intravascular injection of a large dose or fast uh, injection of a drug causes this toxicity, which can be manifested as either CNS or cardiovascular symptoms. Uh, most commonly used uh, local anesthetic is lidocaine. What, are, what happens if there is systemic toxicity due to lidocaine? This is a mnemonic SAMS. Uh, initially slur or difficult speech. Patient can, complains of perioral numbness of lips, tongue, paresthesias around the mouth. Uh, followed by altered C, uh, CNS symptoms like drowsiness, dizziness, arrhythmias, restlessness and confusion. Initial hesitation, later depression followed by muscle twitching or tremors. If it is not treated at this stage, it, uh, there are the seizures, convulsions, respiratory depression, and respiratory and cardiac arrest. This, are the, this is the mnemonic. Uh, CNS toxicity seen with last. Protromal symptoms, as I told, it's peri perioral numbness, dizziness, tongue paresthesias. It is biphasic. Lignogen toxicity is biphasic. Why is it biphasic means? Initially, there will be CNS excitation followed by depression. For CNS excitation, a patient will be complaining of perioral numbness, tinnitus, restlessness, agitation, and lastly, convulsions, which is most serious, followed by depression, uh, drowsiness, disor disorientation, respiratory depression. Uh, we should be alert when the patient is complaining initially, uh, whether it is tinnitus, metallic taste in the tongue, perioral numbness. Uh, particularly with cocaine, we see euphoria as it stimulates CNS. Uh, cardiovascular system, uh, you'll be seeing arrhythmias, which is which has direct effect of local anesthetic. And it is if severe symptoms occur, it is more resistant than CNS. Uh, and the drug of choice for ventral arrhythmias due to lignocaine toxicity. Lignocaine it, uh, itself is an antiarrhythmic, but if there is arrhythmia with lignocaine, drug of choice is amiodarone. And hypotension, the, uh, as local anesthetics have arterial dilatation property. And examples, procaine and lidocaine has most direct effect with hypotension. 
uh, this occurs due to blockade of post ganglionic sympathetic fiber function with c fibers it is its function bupropen is most cardiotoxic of all local anesthetics it is most cardiotoxic its cc cns ratio which means the ratio of the local anesthetic which causes uh, cardiovascular collapse to the ratio of the local anesthetic dose causing cns symptoms it is less with bupropen 3 that means with low dose only it initially causes cardiovascular symptoms compared with all other local anesthetics uh, the treatment for this is lipid emulsion therapy what is lipid emulsion therapy how it acts uh, all local anesthetics are lipid soluble so if uh, there is local anesthesia systemic toxicity it's a lip, there is lipid suck that means local anesthetics in the free blood get stuck to this lipid emulsion therapy thereby reducing its Uh, dose in the blood, and it should be. What is its concentration? Twenty percent of the lipid emulsion as bolus soon after recognition of last. Initially, what we should do is we should stop giving the local anesthetic what we are giving. Then only we should secure the airway first, followed by the lipid emulsion therapy. How it how it is given? Bolus of hundred ml over two to three minutes, followed by infusion of two hundred to two fifty ml. Or fifteen to twenty minutes infusion. This is bolus. This is infusion. Uh, uh, depending on body weight, do not exceed twelve ml per kg lipid emulsion. And total volume lipid emulsion can approach one liter in a prolonged resuscitation greater than thirty minutes. This is lipid emulsion therapy. The other side effects are uh, methemoglobinemia. Uh, since some local anesthesia metabolites have oxidizing property, it converts. normal hemoglobin to meth hemoglobin which decreases the oxygen carrying capacity of that hemoglobin uh, for the for this we treat with 100% oxygen and methylene blue the drugs causing this are meth, meth hemoglobinemia are trilocane benzocaine and lidocaine uh, hypersensitivity reactions are also common with ester local anesthetics rashes angioedema dermatitis and rarely anaphylaxis sometimes typical asthmatic effect can also be seen uh, coming to pharmacokinetics of local anesthetics initially absorption surface anesthetics uh, gets absorbed from mucous membrane abraded areas depending on blood flow to the area total dose and specific drug characteristics uh, procaine has poor penetration in mucous membrane and amide group local anesthetics are brown to plasma protein as i told alpha one acid glycoprotein which which causes its longer duration of action distribution a local anesthetic gets widely distributed in the body as they are lipophilic enters brain heart liver and kidney followed by muscle and other viscera metabolism of ester type local anesthetics Uh, ester type gets hydrolyzed by plasma or pseudo colon esters in plasma to paramena benzoic acid derivatives uh, then generally these are short acting as they are not bound to plasma proteins like uh, alpha one acid glycoprotein and low systemic toxicity as they are short acting prolonged effect seen with gen genetically determined deficiency or altered esters levels uh, uh, when there is mutated pseudo colon esters or plasma colon esters enzyme levels uh, these ester type local anesthetics though they are short acting there will be longer acting ester type local anesthetic for this we use divocan number which uh, gives us the activity of the uh, atypical pseudo colon esters enzyme levels when there is atypical pseudo colon esters enzyme there will be prolonged action of the ester type local anesthetics as it is not metabolized by it. typical colon esters enzyme Uh, metabolism of amide group local anesthetics these are bound to alpha 1 acid glycoprotein they are hydrolyzed by liver enzymes these are longer acting and, and cause more systemic toxicity than ester group local anesthetics there will be higher first pass metabolism on oral ingestion coming to individual drugs cocaine it is derived from uh, natural alkaloid uh, erythroxylan coca Uh, medical use limited to surface or topical anesthetics 
uh, only ester localized is not metabolized by pseudo cholinesterase enzyme it is metabolized by liver enzyme uh, a toxic action on heart may induce rapid and lethal cardiac failure due to reuptake inhibition of adrenaline and noradrenaline in adrenergic nerve endings so usually vasoconstrictor like adrenaline is should not be used or avoided with cocaine as it already has vasoconstrictor property a marked pyrexia is associated with cocaine use uh, ester procaine uh, it is first synthesized local anesthetic it is topically ineffective uh, procaine and benzocaine are metabolized to power derivative as like other ester amides uh, it has shorter local duration produces significant vasodilatation adrenaline should be used to prolong effect systemic effect is negligible because rapidly destroyed in plasma by pseudocholinesterase chlorprocaine it is the uh, shortest acting local anesthetic it is contraindicated in spinal anesthesia as it caused paraplegia due to presence of neurotoxic preservative sodium metabisulfate previously so now preservative free chlorprocaine is uh, coming into market prilocaine uh, it's an amide local anesthetic uh, and it is metabolized in liver there is lesser chance of anaphylactic reaction as there is no other metabolite it is metabolized to orthotoledin and it can cause as i told methemoglobinemia lidocaine commonly used drug it is most widely used in popular local anesthetic and it is affected by all routes depending on concentration topical infiltration spinal and anest- uh, spinal anesthesia that's fa- faster onset more intense longer lasting than procaine as i told different concentrations uh, used with by Byers block intravenous region anesthesia. We use point five percent in local infiltration and regular in gel. It is two percent surface topical anesthesia. It is five percent and in lignocaine spray it is ten percent. Uh, its uh, systemic toxicity is less than bupivacaine. Uh, and as I already told, the CCNS ratio of bupivacaine is three, whereas uh, for lignocaine it is seven. that means uh, severe symptoms are shown only with large doses of lidocaine compared to bupivacaine and cns involvement occurs at much lower dose than cvs involvement uh, it can cause malignant hyperthermia hence avoid in these patients maximum safe dose of lidocaine with adrenaline and without adrenaline as with adrenaline there will be vasoconstriction so uh, there will be lesser chances of drug getting accumulated in intravascularly so large doses can be given with adrenaline that is 7 mg per kg and without adrenaline it is 4.5 mg per kg body weight other uses of lidocaine as anti arrhythmic it is used to treat ventricular arrhythmias to blunt the cardiovascular response to laryngoscopy and intubation amla which is uteritic mixture of local anesthetics uh, what is uh, uteritic mixture the melting point of mixture is lower than the melting points of individual components uh, here we use two local anesthetics which is 5% lidocaine and 5% prilocaine oil in water emulsion for dermal anesthesia topical application specifically it is applied to prevent pain associated with iv catheter insertion blood sampling superficial surgical procedures topical anesthesia of leg ulcers for cleaning and debridement bupivacaine sensor can or marken it is second most commonly used local anesthetic after lidocaine used for infiltration spinal blocks nerve blocks and epidural block what is differential blockade it is it has differential blockade unique property it can be seen with both bupivacaine and ropivacaine uh, it uh, it causes uh, spinal energy uh, sensory anesthesia without significant motor blockade in labor that is walking epidural that if it is given mother uh, there will be loss of sensory perception but motor component is intact so that you can push it's a boon for uh, obstetric patients uh, and it is more cardiotoxic than other local anesthetic as i told cccns ratio is 3 uh, mass and safe dose safe dose is 3 mg per kg various concentrations used for which is bupivacaine are for nerve block is 0.5% epidural 0.25 to 0.5% and spinal 0.5% uh liver bupivacaine it is modification of bupivacaine that is s minus 
enantiomer of bupropion as r enantiomer is most cardiotoxic it's a derivative of s enantiomer of bupropion it is less cardiotoxic less prone to cause serious compared to bupropion dopamine is another s enantiomer of bupropion uh, it's not at its side chain which is propyl group in ropovacan and butyl group in bupropion uh, less lipophilic than bupropion thereby causing less likely to penetrate large myelinated nerve fibers large myelinated nerve fibers are nothing but a alpha fibers which has function of motor proprioception so motor uh, motor function will be intact that is walking epidural as i told previously with ropovacan hence degree of motor blockade is less than bupropion but degree of sensory and autonomic block is same as that of the bupropion What is TAC? It's a composition of tetracaine, adrenaline, and cocaine. It's found to be effective for topical anesthetic mixture for non-mucous skin lacerations to the face and scalp in children. And maximum safe dose for children is 0.05 ml per kg. This is it. Thank you. Thank you, Kranthi Kumar. Topic is open for discussion. A lot Thank of time to discuss, sir, Durga. Yes, sir. How many of us doing a anaphylaxis test before giving local? No one is answering. We we are doing for selective cases, sir. And the patient, when we are doing PSC, if the patient is having multiple drug allergies or any kind of drug allergy, then we are definitely doing in those patients. In uh, our experience, uh, we lost three patients because of local. Particularly, I don't want to name the place, but it's when they were giving local for a biopsy removal, the patient arrested for a bone marrow as well as a biopsy of breast, and the we did cpr and uh, went later but later on we had to declare so there are three patients in last 20 years which are seen dying because of local anesthesia but after the second one we promoted xylo card because there is no preservative in that so we started using a local only xylo card not stopping the xylocaine with the methyl paraben gada no methyl paraben so that is that is what is the causing of anaphylaxis mostly we understood so i don't know somehow i feel uh, local xylocard is more safer than xylocaine good morning to all santhi good morning uh, how many complications do you did you see in the last one year Uh, after giving uh, block uh, patient complaint one patient complaint of uh, perioral i don't know madam lip smacking is present but that, that is due to thirst thirst or uh, uh, it's toxic i am not uh, i don't know madam but patient is stable madam uh, other complications i didn't especially when we are uh, loading drugs with uh, or using lo uh, local anesthetic it is always uh, uh, crucial to see the dosage and um, the percentage of uh, the drug especially when we are giving local infiltration we'll say lignocaine loxicard then we have to again recheck the vial to check the percentage and uh, whether we are uh, giving the right uh, amount or dosage of the drug is what uh, i learned uh, one more thing if you remember chandana one pediatric patient plastic yes, surgery calculation yes sir. yes sir you can tell that also yeah especially when uh, uh, 
the surgeons are also giving local infiltration and if it's a major uh, rescue procedures or major uh, procedures uh, like uh, liposuction in those cases uh, they dilute uh, local anesthetic from the vials sir. so and they also use uh, adrenaline so what concentration of adrenaline is being taken how is the dilution going on uh, unless we know the percentage of dilution we can't uh, assess how much of drug has gone into the body uh, we will also be giving they will also be giving so there is chance of uh, high dosage of the drug inside the body that's what i understand చెప్పండి చైతన్య రాణి మేడం శేఖర్ యువర్ ఎక్స్పీరియన్సెస్ ఆఫ్ ఎనీథింగ్ శ్రీకాంత్ ఐ థింక్ యూ హ్యావ్ ఎన్ ఎక్స్పీరియన్స్ ఇన్ యువర్ హాస్పిటల్స్ ఐ యామ్ వెయిటింగ్ అదర్స్ టు స్పీక్ సర్ సిన్స్ ఐ యామ్ ద మోడరేటర్ ఐ షుడ్ స్పీక్ లాస్ట్ హలో హలో ఎస్ మేడం మార్నింగ్ morning madam uh, yeah i think students should remember uh, the as he, as he said in the class systemic effects um, side effects toxic effects all these things uh, we have seen few cases uh, like uh, when people were de- doing blocks uh, i think brachial block as soon as the block is given patient started throwing fits seizures so immediately you know the patient uh, like a, it must have gone intravascular so the patient is fitting though we say no sir we did the block correct it was correct but probably some of the drug must have gone intravascularly so that's the reason why he was throwing seizures unless patient is known epileptic and uh, uh missed his skipped his aed in the morning so usually doesn't happen if the intravascular didn't go and immediately you may have to uh, give induction agent and uh, give ga so there's no need to panic once the effect gone probably patient will be fine and other effects like uh, as mohan sir said try and avoid preservative containing additives once we have seen in uh, unit 2 one patient was uh, in icu ventilated and uh, recovered and uh, about to be discharged and he said i have this uh, like carpal tunnel uh, yeah compression paresthesia in the hand and all those things can i get this done and uh, then get discharged so uh, like uh, we thought okay let him do it so one of the anesthetist who's not with us uh, in care now so he he did the block but he used uh, i think uh, some painkiller if i remember i think he mixed uh, tramadol i think whether it's uh, maybe we shouldn't have mixed he mixed with that with local anesthetic so the patient developed uh, focal seizures in that hand to start with and then it didn't subside at all initially we have taken it okay as long as the um, uh, effect is there local it's there and it will fade off but it uh, gradually started getting worse and worse uh, first it started in the thumb and then it went to um and whole um then it became in two days it became like a generalized uh, seizures so uh, kishore babu has seen and literally from one anti epileptic to all the anti epileptics in in the world we must have started 
everything and it became like a status in three four days so we had to sedate him fully we had to um give him uh, infusions of uh, propofol and all those things and we had to ventilate him and eventually like he was there for more than two weeks he didn't recover uh, we declared him he died can you believe so uh, about to be discharged guy and uh, he died a uh, young policeman like in 30s so so don't don't mix uh, whatever we get in our hand it may have it may be not approved to mix with this and it may be uh, it may contain uh, preservatives which are uh, not compatible uh, so the that try i never forget so we could see in front of our eyes like totally recovered patient from icu and again back to icu and then died so like that like uh, some of the complications which we may not expect but uh, it can happen and anaphylaxis also anaphylaxis also can happen and uh, we usually used to ask uh, if they ever had any local anesthetic uh, given for any small procedures or with the dentist have you ever been to dentist and given any local anesthetic were you okay or did you have any problem like that we used to ask if not uh, used to give i used to take the history basically but ideally if they have not had any in the past we should give small test dose but um, I, i don't think any of us are doing that but uh, um ideally we should give as monsa said last few patients just because of local anesthetic uh, injections so these are some of the things we should remember and uh, don't take local anesthetic lightly local anesthetics can also be fatal thank you uh, whenever you give any local anesthetics for blocks or uh, spinal sometimes and uh, my friends uh, like uh, chandra sanal used to tell me once you don't get the effect again you make him sit back and give the local anesthesia so the trend was there i have seen two cases of uh, post brachial giving a second time because first time did not affect her and again getting seizures intravascular this kind of case i have seen different hospital or the senior most people only we are we only not anybody it's like any of us it's not that a person person does not matter it's a matter is a subject and the, this one so it doesn't matter this junior or senior whoever is there the redoing again second time giving a dose calculations the mixing of the drug with the other uh, methyl barbital whatever it is additives those kind of things are very important and as chandana told the percentage when you are looking at 2% means how much is per milligram that is the calculation very regular questions in the classes so thank you yeah sir when you said that i remember in cat lab once uh, i was called uh, i and kalyani cardiologist did the case and he called and he said like a uh, Uh, can we have your help because last time when we started doing uh, even before we started patient started uh, throwing scissors so we had to cancel he is not known epileptic and not on any medication why did it happen i just asked what did you give here and the technician said uh, local infiltration done uh, and patient was very skinny and small patient maybe 45 kilos or 40 kilos something like that what what did the patient get he said um, uh, 25 to 30 ml of uh, 2% uh, xylocaine so that's coming about uh, 600 mg so that's uh, 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 three times uh, her normal like uh, safe dose so obviously with that as soon as infiltration done Uh, before they started the procedure patient uh, started seizing and uh, they had to stop and they it seems they did uh, ct brain and all those and uh, they didn't find anything so they postponed after 2 3 days they called and they did when i said uh, this must be because of local so then we calculated and uh, he had given very little and diluted 
I said, when you need a bigger volume, dilute it and give. So that should be okay. So till then, they were not diluting in cat lab. 2% straight away they are giving. So like, uh, and that day with diluted and small dose, the patient was fine and they did the PPI. Thank you. Any more experiences? Any more suggestions? Hello? Uh, uh, hello, Kran. Am I audible? Chapujit, Anya. Uh, uh, Kranthi, very good class, Kranthi. The way you presented is very good. Uh, yes. I remember uh, the case that Rani Madam mentioned. I think uh, the editor used was Ketamin, I guess. There and um, yeah, H how many cases per week or uh, usually any blocks if non Kranti? Yeah. On a rough number. Five to six. Five. Okay, five to six. So all are ultrasound guided blocks, right? Yes, ma'am. So ultrasound is a pure blessing to us. So whenever you're using ultrasound, always remember you need not give, I mean, larger amounts. So reduce the amount of local anesthetic that you are using for the blocks. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Even uh, the blind how much amount of local anesthetic we are using almost half of it is sufficient when we are using ultrasound and uh, second thing is don't generalize the amount of uh, uh, local anesthetic that you are using for all the patients so when you when you're I mean, taking a patient for a block always calculate the dosage i mean Calculate the upper limit of uh, the local anesthetic that can be used for the patient. Always keep in mind because once we are that accurate, uh, only then we, I mean, we always have to have the fear of getting uh, last because it is always better to be safe than sorry. And yes, I have, uh, I mean, I have seen the cases where, uh, I mean, after block, the patient got seizures and all, but yes. As Madam said, the, it is it did yeah, not last me. longer. Okay. Sir, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So yes, so it it do, it does happen and it is really scary. So when when whenever we are taking any case for a block or anything. So always be careful, always calculate the highest, I mean, the, I mean, the maximum amount of dose that can be given and try to give uh, I mean, less, less of uh, the maximum amount that can be given because there is also a chance of the surgeon giving some more local anesthetic. So don't reach the upper limit of the maximum dosage that can be given. And yeah. Thank you. No, this is a very good and valid point, Chaitanya, because you are not calculating the surgeon giving a uh, local. Because we also, don't see you have, have to keep in mind about yes, the sir. complication. And, yes. And always, I mean, it is always better to have liquid emulsion available in the institute when we are doing so many cases under blocks and all. So I think that is really necessary. Especially when we are giving blocks, uh, supraclavicular brachial plexus, we are bound to have some amount of uh, uh, complication, like uh, side effects on tiger set parasitism, uh, redness of the eyes. We, unless we know that this will happen, we will be panicking and uh, we have to keep things ready to stabilize the patient. And uh, converting it into general anesthesia should not be like uh, uh, the block has failed, I have failed or anything. At that moment, 
saving the patient should be a priority and um, securing the airway of the patient should be a priority. We have encountered, I think, uh, five, five years back, uh, myself and Omkar, when we have given block, the patient did have a small amount of paresthesias and uh, redness in the eyelid. So we secured the airway. And uh, after the procedure was done, we did extubate the patient. The patient had no complication. The block was fine. But at that moment, we had to secure the airway. So basics, ABC. Mm, yes, sir. And well, yeah, as Chaitanya said, I was also trying to tell lipid emulsion, if we have it in the OT uh, and we know where it is, uh, it helps a lot. It gives some amount of moral boost. Yeah, we'll have some rescue. That should be there, sir. Are you sure it's only moral boost? Yes, sir. It's only moral boost? At least we should have, sir, we have to go and find lipid emulsion. It's not going to be possible, sir. Unless we know that there is lipid emulsion ready for us, we will have that insecurity, no, sir. That's that's what I wanted to say. Understand. Please check for the expiry date of the lipid emulsion if it has kept yes, already. Sir. Yes, sir. Yes. Just one uh, word of caution. I want to tell, uh, last time actually Manjur also mentioned and I'm again mentioning, all our classes are on YouTube. So when we are talking about it, do not mention the hospital and the doctor's name. So it is safer. What we want to teach and learn is all of us should know the complications, particularly people who have not experienced it. It's not the age of seniority because junior yeah. might have more ex experience of the complications. A senior might not have knowing. doesn't matter. But our platform should improve others' knowledge and somebody's experiences of whatever is bad thing should be told here openly, like a confession. Then only other people will be safe because anesthesia is nothing but uh, learning from others' mistakes, not when same same own mistakes or understanding this one. So just want to keep you aware that be careful when you are telling about the place and the doctor's name. Just tell about the explanation. We don't need to describe fully. Thank you. Yes, sir. Okay, sir. Any experience of I before we can uh, accidentally going IV? I had one small brother, but it was anyway. It's a cardiac. No, we normally say that cardio stable run. Madam, madam, uh, accident run or uh, epidural CVP line connected sir. Yeah, epidural uh, infusion connected to IV. Uh, during so, PZ time, two, three uh, times, yeah. madam. So one patient gone, uh, uh, total night, to is gone, uh, you can, uh, I think, 3 ml per hour like this. So morning, uh, when you are coming for rounds, that time we saw the uh, thing, uh, drug is going IV. Patient had uh, tachycardia, we observed 24 hours. So that is the one experience. Second one is... Uh, uh, surgeon told uh, epidural catheter sister connected to IV. So luckily what happened, that three-way connected reverse. So all the drug is going bedside. So, that is the missed one. That's called, this is actually, I saw in HPCL yesterday, that's called closed calls. Closed call means all near misses. So you should be aware. Then we know to prevent the accidents. So that's why whenever you are connecting the epidural catheter, so always keep a plaster and write it down, no IV injection uh, like this. So so I, I used to write a red color pen uh, using a red danger marking no IV injection like this I am using that plaster and keep the plaster like this in the catheter region and uh, pump uh, and the syringe pump also to two areas I am keeping the plasters now I don't know and fixing it to left side man generally the yeah don't connect it until when uh, suppose the right side central line is there and uh, you are connecting the epidural catheter also keeping in right side that is uh, too dangerous Better to keep on left side and uh, 
and center line right side. मैडम नेक्स्ट वीक क्लास है मैम आई टेल टुमारो ओके ओके <coughs> thank you thank you to all thank you kranti thank you thank you thank you ma'am kranti intralipid is available in uh, your ot or not please search na no? okay ma'am just not available ma'am ee tpn vaadacha shaka that's why kranti told no i think is the book can be used uh and i think is there profile can also be used it has been used also okay okay thank you kranti and shaker thank you ma'am thank you madam the only thing is uh, i want to a little bit of betterment is you should have made it a tabular form of all the local anesthetics emites and uh, esters so that it would be easy for you and us to compare each and every drug yes sir. okay doses and uh, duration of action and all the students when you are giving the injections anything first you have to calculate how much you are giving uh, xylocaine or sensorcaine or uh, ropivacaine anything uh to this patient have this much a body weight how much i am giving always you you have to tell the ca senior sir this much of drug i loaded but no one is uh, doing like this also while you are giving block blindly you should always keep conversation with the patient and also give drug in a aliquots of 3 ml weight and again give 3 ml in that way we can recognize the complication early the take home point sir one thing is you should calculate the dosage of maximum doses that should be given to a particular patient especially when the patient is thin giving a test dose before going for a local anesthetic uh, injection or a block and uh, always uh the toxicity and the complications are more with blind techniques rather than ultrasound guided techniques and the amount of drug that is given should be uh given in uh, as a uh, round processor said should be given in uh boluses of 2 to 3 ml and wait for some time and giving when you are giving a blind block for an ultrasound guided block you have to visualize the needle position always withdraw the piston before giving the surge, uh, injection if there is any kind of uh, blood in your uh, entering into your cannula i mean uh, into the syringe then you have to wait for uh, you have to reposition your needle and give it always withdraw before giving an injection That's, these are the basics with these basics you can always uh, reduce the complications and one more thing is the complications are more with Uh, as uh, many of the uh, teachers said uh, the complication uh, seizures are more with intraskeletal block that is that to in a blind uh, when we are giving a blind block because it is uh, it is in immediate vicinity with the vertebral artery sometimes you might hit the vertebral artery or the uh, vessels of the spinal canal and the toxicity might uh, can the toxicity can cause seizures in those patients i have seen one case of uh, blind block seizure that was that too was an intraskeletal block uh, it is it was recorded immediately and uh, no major uh, harm was done but you have you are you should be always care careful with your intraskeletal block for that for that matter any block can uh, be 
there can be a extravasation of the i mean uh, intravascular uh, uh, drug can be given that's why you need to be very careful when you are doing blind blocks in ultrasound blind block always see for the vessels do a color doppler see the vessels identify the vessels don't go near the vessels and give the uh, deposit the drug where the nerves are there identify the nerves and uh, deposit the drug where the nerves are there and always keep your needle in in your visibility i mean you have to visualize the needle when you are giving an ultrasound and ultrasound guided block thank you thank you sir thank you thank you kranti thank you shekhar thank you to all thank you, thank you madam have a nice day